Hey guys, welcome back, it's Carter. This is a follow-up video to a live stream I just did. And what this is, is we're gonna see if we can warm this up. 48 degrees right now in my three season room here. And right now, if you have a rig and it is just setting idle because of the power or whatever, and you're in pretty much the upper north states in the country, you're probably running a space heater, you're probably running your power and you're trying to heat your place. And there's an opportunity here. And what we're gonna do is check the opportunity cost on running a mining rig in like a room like this or you know your house. And what we're gonna do is figure out what the cost is of running a mining rig plus the currency that you earn for running the mining rig. Mind you, not ideal to go out and buy a brand new one. This is kind of, you already have sunk cost into a rig and it's just sitting. And see, can it heat up a room like this or like you know your house, I'll do the dimensions of the room, I'll put them below for you guys. This is an insulated room, but, and it's like 17 degrees outside right now, one rig will actually heat this up. Now I did do in the live stream, and I'll throw this on right now, what, how much power like a, a radiant heater uses. It's about 1300 watts of power when it's running, and it takes a while, it will sit there and constantly run until a room is at a certain temperature. So if it never achieves that temperature, it's just gonna sit there and run and use 1300 watts. This rig that we have here is a GTX 1070 rig, a 1600T2 power supply in it, and this rig, as configured, you have 65% power limit on it on Ravencoin. Pulls about 125 mega hash, 130 mega hash rig for about 1,000 watts, about 990 watts power, and it generates cryptocurrency. And then we'll take a snapshot as to what the actual temperature gets to. So can one rig do it? It's a good question, I'm gonna check that. I mean, I know what a whole bunch of rigs do to a room, but we're gonna see one rig in this kind of particular situation. Sorry for the lighting, it is, this isn't the best lighting, but hopefully it works out for us. You guys can see here, got the little mini screen, the little HDMI portable USB powered screen. I'll link that below if you like that. It's good for if you're having to move things around real quick. You can do that. And I had some people ask me about doing Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is fine. Um, you just gotta watch your share. You know, you gotta watch your shares. Make sure you're not dumping a lot of shares. Make sure you have a strong signal. But I have a pretty strong signal here, so I'm gonna do it with Wi-Fi on that test too because people were asking. I do have internet in here, but. We'll do Wi-Fi. You can see the card sitting at about 67 Celsius. Pretty much stock settings and running 65 power limit on this. And that clicks in at about, if I can bring that up, it's about right at about 1,000 watts. You guys can see that. 990, 1,000 watts, somewhere around there. And that's what we're clicking in at. So we'll let this run. You can see the other heat sources in here. And we are at... We're at 50 right now. It's been running for about five minutes. So we're gonna leave this tonight. See what this looks like in the morning. So it's November 14th right now. Tomorrow's November 15th. Probably when you're gonna see this video and that's my birthday. Voila! Good morning, my dudes. It is the next day. Back in the room with the mining rig. Three season room. You can see it's morning time. It's about 8.30 in the morning and our temperature went from 46, 47 degrees to about 59. And that's with no real movement in this room. I mean, with in regards to airflow or any of that, just the like cycle with this full 24 hour, close to 24 hour. And actually it's been, it's the next full day. So we're about a day and a half actually in here. And it got down to 20 degrees at night. I wanted to make it like the radiant heater. So we, we didn't put any airflow in this room and just let this rig radiate with its built-in MSI fans. And we can see the cards are doing about, about 64 Celsius, 62 Celsius, somewhere around there. And that little contraption that you just saw there, as I speak, you can see it go up. That is decimal meter. So people are asking how loud is this rig in this room? And as I'm talking, you can see it popping up to about 70, 80, DB when I'm quiet. We're about 36. Pretty quiet on that side. Power right now. So we brought the FLIR out. We can see some of the hot spots of the cards. 53C to the touch. 
Yeah, 52C. So the surface is not too bad. You can see pretty detailed output of where the heat of the rig is. You know, the window temperature, we're at 10C on the window and on the brick, let's see, 8C on the brick and then the floor, pulling it about 9C. And the other side of the room, 10. And we'll see exterior, interior door window, 16C. The window over there, 15C. Other exterior door to this three season room about 15C. So you got kind of a, a basis there of what this machine's pulling, you know, from a heat standpoint. You got another tool to check the size of the room. Now I tweeted this picture out crew here. So this little device here is will allow me to measure the wall. As you'll see this right here, and then it's over, you'll see the little laser over there and that is 13.8 feet and then we're going to come over here this wall right here and look way over there and make sure that's doing that and there we go so we're looking at 37.31, which is about 515 square feet in this room. Pretty cool tool. I'll link all this stuff down below. And like you can go through your whole house and measure each room and get an entire actual square footage, you know, of things. It's pretty cool. It's cool. One of those kind of cool tools to have. Again, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with it being 29 degrees outside, one rig radiant. Now the next step in this process, what we can show you guys in the next video, is I'm gonna put a small fan behind these and actually get it from just a radiated heat to now where it's being, it's get being cooled by the fan, but it's also driving the heat in the room. And we'll see what the difference of putting like a 15 watt fan behind it on a single rig, because it's 1000 watts versus 1300 watts, and this thing's earning cryptocurrency. So let's take a look and see how much cryptocurrency we've earned. And let's take a look at this address. So you guys can see the address I'm going to right there and that's the one that's in the multi miner so it's no surprise there and right now these are the earnings between I have one other like small 1060 rig going to this address as a benchmark right now and we can see that that's about that's about 56 mega hash and that's anywhere from 113 to 120 and we can see you know essentially the flat Pretty close to flat hash rate, bouncing between a total. You can see this is about when it came online, and then it kind of lifted it up there. The balance earnings here, and we'll bring up a calculator too for you guys can see the differences. But roughly 24 hour earnings about 105 Raven coin, three days earnings about 253 Raven coin, and so far since I've turned this address back on. All right, my dudes, I'm gonna get some of this stuff cleaned up and we're gonna start working on another live stream. I got a few more things to check out when it comes to the new mining OS. We're gonna get those guys checked out, see how that gets set up. Now that'll be a live stream that I'm just gonna walk cradle to grave through, meaning we'll download everything, we'll set up the USB, we'll load it onto the machine, we'll configure the miner, we'll go through all the steps. So that'd be a little longer episode. That'd be on Twitch TV. And then we'll take the recap of that and put it on YouTube for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing how that comes together and getting all the details and idiosyncrasies that it comes down to setting up a new mining OS, that'd be one for you that you'll enjoy. So stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing and taking a like and we'll catch you guys on the next.